Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, a free site, sports betting. Also, keepingitfree.blogspot.com, a financial blog I operate. Today, and the timing is key, is June the 1st, 2020. Let's talk about a cryptocurrency opportunity I'm pursuing. But first remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now, what I want people to do <clears throat> is to look closely at Ethereum. I understand Ethereum 2.0 is going to drop soon. Ethereum right now, and I have my tablet here. Ethereum right now, as I make this video, is priced at $237.82 a coin. Right? $237.82. Ethereum is really an operating system that developers can place apps on. Right? So you have an entire ecosystem right now built on Ethereum. The platform is very powerful. But the platform also has some issues. No one knows that better than Charles Hodgkinson, since he was the co-founder of Ethereum. So, realizing that Ethereum is a little slow, can't really handle big capacity, right? The system slows down. It's not the kind of capacity that can compete with Visa, for example. Charles left Ethereum and started a third generation cryptocurrency called Cardano. Now I've owned Cardano for a few years and Cardano really hasn't done much in that period of time. Because unlike most cryptocurrencies, which rush to market and then tell you, hey, we're going to have to fork, we're going to have to repair this, right? You know, we're slow today, but we'll be faster tomorrow. Rather than proceed with that approach, rather than grab market share first and then figure out how to get rid of the bugs in the product, Hodgkinson and his Cardano team are doing the reverse. They've been testing their crypto, right? The crypto is intended to be an operating system, far in excess of Ethereum, right? It's supposed to move faster. It's supposed to have high capacity. It's supposed to be able to handle a really big workload. The same kind of diversity of apps that right now exists on Ethereum are supposed to, according to Hodgkinson, exist on Cardano to a greater degree. In sum, if you believe the co-founder of Ethereum, his new project, Cardano, is supposed to be bigger and better. Now, one of the things I have learned in life is that you need to spot the visionaries who can execute, right? Find the smart people who are actually using that intelligence to do something and follow them. I can't tell you that I understand all the technical turns and twists of Cardano. Who knows? Maybe Cardano won't be able to deliver. Maybe it's buggy, has problems, and it won't be able to fulfill its promise. But I need to have people realize that Ethereum today, let me quote the price, $237.82 a coin. Cardano, a cryptocurrency people know about, 
right? Understand, it's the 11th ranked cryptocurrency today in terms of market cap. You can find all this information on coinmarketcap.com. Cardano is going off, as I make this video, at 0 0.079 cents per coin. Again, that's 0 0.079 cents per coin. Now, the coin hasn't done much price-wise for as long as I've owned it, which is more than a year. But they've made some announcements. The Shelley code base, which, according to Hodgkinson, is a monumental step up in the capability of Cardano. And understand the philosophy here. They test first. They perfect first. Then they release it to market. Right? They've seen Ethereum's problems. They're not here to duplicate Ethereum. Full disclosure, I also own some Ethereum. They're not here to duplicate Ethereum. They're here to exceed Ethereum. Right? Their next step is the rollout of the Shelley code base. And they've announced that that rollout is going to begin at the end of this month. Right? Understand, by midsummer, they're supposed to have this completely on the market. This summer, it's June the 1st. They've given the date of June the 30th and July the 7th for stages of the rollout. Right, folks? I can't give investment advice here. Right? All I can tell you is what I'm doing. In a world where I believe there are a lot of great investments on the board, including Bitcoin, right, including Dash, including silver, including gold, right, let's just say that I've also been buying Cardano at these prices. It's an asymmetrical bet, in my opinion. Hodgkinson delivered with Ethereum, right? Vitalik Buterin was also involved, obviously. But understand, he delivered with Ethereum. Now he's here telling you that this, that's about to drop, is bigger and better. When you understand what he's trying to pull off, literally the same kind of operating system, only without the defects of Ethereum. Then you understand that if the market agrees with him, oh my, talk about an investment exploding, especially one where you could get a hundred coins, a hundred right now for about $8. Right? So what I'm doing, you do what you want. Right? The opinion you should follow should be your own. You do what you want. But let's just say I love asymmetrical bets involving successful, really sharp people who can execute on their vision. I believe that's exactly what we have here. Right? If this is a total failure and you lose it all, you're losing eight cents a coin. That's the price today. If Charles Hoskinson is right, and this is the next big thing, right? All it has to be is a serious competitor of Ethereum's. And that would make it huge. Given the fact that 
enough people are watching this so that it is the 11th biggest market cap in all of crypto. And that's before the rollout of the Shelley code base. I'm buying right here. Right, full disclosure, I own some right now. Again, I'm just telling you what I'm doing, right? Let's just say a few years ago, I was here online and I talked about Dash, right? In fact, at the time, I believe it was named Darkcoin. Let's just say from the time I talked about that coin to now, the coin has gone up, gee, 20, 30, 40x. I believe this might be that kind of opportunity. Again, the coin is Cardano. It is available on several exchanges, including Bittrex, an American exchange governed by American laws here in the United States, right? Let's just say I think it's a great opportunity. I own some, I'm adding to my position. I think the world changes, not just because of Cardano, but just because of recent events, coronavirus, government's response, uh, the ending of the lockdown, uh, the comeback of the oil market. Let's just say I believe in a few weeks the world's going to be a much different place. I'll also say, too, if you're just a buy the rumor, sell the news type person, right? If you want to monetize the hype without taking the risk of the disclosure at the end of the hype, well, now would be the time to look at this, right? I'm buying some Cardano right now. The opinion you should follow should be Euro. I'm not making a recommendation here. I'm just telling you what I'm doing, right? I think it's worth a look. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. I hope you leave your comments in the comment section of this video. Thanks for stopping by.